Remove the top plastic cover. Make sure you pull hard and do not worry, it won't break. Unscrew the 4T25 screws and unplug the radio's display from the back. Unscrew the two bolts with a wrench socket, size 7. Remove the bottom plastic cover with care. Then proceed with removing the main cover of the radio. Disconnect cable. Firmly pull the radio box. Disconnect the two antenna cables and the main power plug cable as shown. Now, let's get your new radio ready to be installed. Your radio will come with many cables, but you will mainly need two. You will only need the CAN bus box, the main power plug cables and the antenna cable. Proceed with connecting the two cables to the back of the radio. You'll have to unscrew the radio from the plastic cover for easy access. Do not forget the small white plug.
Insert the radio back into the plastic frame cover. There are four little screws holding them together. This is where the four screws are located. As mentioned earlier, you will need to unscrew the radio for easier access to the back. The screws are really small and easy to lose. Be careful to not lose any. Plug back and insert the center radio console. Also, pull the rest of the cables towards the top section of the dashboard. Insert bottom plastic cover with care. It may take a few time to get it right, so do not worry too much about it. Screw back the two T25 screws to hold the center console in place. Connect small power plug cables. Connect large power plug cables. And finally, connect antenna lead to the wide antenna cable. Turn on the ignition and the radio should come alive.
Connect to Bluetooth from your phone to access CarPlay slash Android Auto. Link in bio for the product. Thank you for watching. Visit carsosa.co.uk